Hi everyone. What I'm about to do next is try to convert these 308 Winchester cases from Seiko to these, the 6.5 Creedmoor cases. I've heard that it can be done with great success, some say, but I've never actually locally seen anyone do it. So what I think the process is, the process itself is not that complicated. It's the same body of the case, but it's a little shorter and it's got, of course, got the resizing for 6.5. So it should be possible. The, only, the weight difference is not that big and the material difference between these two cases. So, so I'm hoping it'll turn just fine. I'm about to load them with Vitavori N150 powder that I've used with great success re reloading the 6.5 and these Lapua Senar L bullets, the 136 grain open tip match bullet. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the plan is to first trim the case shorter so it reaches the the overall length of the 6.5 Creedmoor case. Then I will resize it using the resizing die. Of course, deburred before resizing it. And then I'll have to turn the neck. I've made uh, this kind of neck turner. You can run in your cordless drill to, to turn the neck so so it won't be so, so thick. The Creedmoor case, as the, the, the neck thickness is something like 0 0.3 millimeters, 0 0.33, 32. And this has almost, when you resize it, it's, it's almost 0 0.45. So there's a little bit of excess material you have to be turning away. Okay, now we have some cartridges reloaded. They look pretty nice, don't they? They look quite the same. I don't know how, th how the, the junction between the body and the neck is going to work, but they do chamber pretty well, no problem. And the, the amount of powder inside, they don't look that they, they would have a considerably different level of powder inside compared to the 6.5 Creedmoor cases, actually. So, so the result is very good in terms of appearance. I've reloaded them using the number 34 primers from CCI. So this is, considering the components used, this is not actually match ammo, except the bullet is pretty good, actually, and very accurate. The Senar L groups very well, at least in my Mauser M18. The powder is uh, N150. Some prefer the N550 or 555, that is, I believe, especially developed for the 6.4 Creedmoor caliber. But I can st think that, at least in my case, my opinion is the N550 seems, for some loads, that is a little bit too, too slow and it, it tends to burn outside the barrel. At least that's what quick load the program indicates. And that's how it, it sort of smells after the Round and they don't group that well, considered the what uh, according to my experience that I have from the N150 powder. But we'll we'll have to go on the range and see how everything goes.
Okay, so we're back from the range. Here are the results. The in terms of accuracy, the the Creedmoor case here compared to the converted case uh, from throughout Winchester, there is not a big difference there. Both lack 20 millimeters in dispersion, and you can't make very big conclusions on accuracy based on five, only five rounds there might be some luck involved of course but if you would shoot 10 or 15 or 20 round group then it will show are these cases converted cases consistent enough to, to so there would be any sense in in actually doing this but uh for these five rounds it's, it seemed really really reasonable idea that you can convert cases that you basically found from the trash can to something you can use because 3 out cases are very easy to come by in Finland every recreational shooter and hunter basically has a 308 so and they're not all reloaders so they don't they don't take their spent cases with them but 6.5 cases at least Creedmoor cases are non-existent you can't find them in the trash can that's that's for sure and they're pretty expensive to buy so if if you can convert a 308 case that is really easy to find to do something that is not so easy to find I, I see there there's an idea in doing doing it and i will definitely make some more of them to try to shoot bigger groups to see if they are a rival for the the actual creedmoor case because just that that there's no point in making anything if you can't achieve the same you can achieve so something you can just buy from a shop but that's all this time and we'll, we'll, we'll I'm gonna try to make a video next time where I shoot a little bit bigger group and we can make some more serious conclusions on on is there any point in doing this whole thing see ya bye